What's going on? Welcome to Hustlers Kung Fu, hosted by your hustling godfather. Me. I'm, gonna, I'm about to drop some serious game on you, so I want y'all to hit that super chat that's under the video. Also, be sure to join the Disruptive Mail Facebook group. Link's also below. What I'm about to tell you is for people who have jobs. People have jobs, people have resources, people who are in a position to stockpile some stuff. Because I'm going to tell you how you can make ten to fifty thousand dollars. This is once again, I'm going to say this again. You can make ten to fifty thousand dollars this fall if you follow my advice right now. Also below is a lot of resale stuff to get you toned up. It's on special, just for you, just for you. First thing you do is you assess your situation. Let's say you got a job making 70 grand. Now this is gonna be the challenge that if you want to give up some of your weekend. Right now it is garage sale season. It is people are giving stuff away stuff that people wanted more for in the fall they're giving it away because they're moving uh, grandma's moving to a home grandpa has died they're cleaning up the house there are deals galore on facebook craigslist garage sales they're everywhere ebay now what you want to do is pick a category and what is the category you ask i'm going to tell you you want to Go ahead and say you want to do computers or you want to do furniture or you want to do clothing. I would suggest clothing because clothing is going to be super, super cheap. You can literally buy something for a dollar and sell it for $150. i am serious. So you're going to go out and stockpile. Once you pick your category, let's not get ahead. You're going to get your category. You're going to study your category. And then you're going to research eBay and a few other sites, Poshmark, and see what stuff goes for. So you're going to go out with your list of brands. And your list of brands need to be like 150, 200 deep. Don't go out with a list of 10 things because you're going to get frustrated because you can go out two weekends in a row and not find any of that stuff. But if you have a list of 150, 200 items, brands, because you're going to have to do some research, then you will be ready to go hunting. Now, you want to get this stuff as cheap as possible. Because the, when you buy it, that's when you make your profit. Because the price that you buy this stuff at does not change. So, you want to do some calculations. And let's say you have some Christian Louboutin and shoes. Let's say you've got, you, you somehow go out and you find 30, 40 pair. And you get them for 20 bucks, 30 bucks. But you can sell them for 100 to 300 bucks. Then you do the math. It's like, okay, I want to make $25,000. So you take the $25,000, put it on a sheet of paper, get your calculator out, and then you divide that by $100. So that's 2,500 items that you need to sell for $100. Then you go like, okay, what if I wanted to make 50,000? Then the math doubles. You're gonna need um, 5,000 items to sell for 100 bucks. See, doing this math exercise will help you hunt better. Uh, many people just go out and start grabbing deals. And they go out and start grabbing the cheap deals, the super economical deals. And then they wonder why they're not making any money. So when you're doing your math, then you go ahead and you separate your, your categories. Like we're going to go super fine, super fine the stuff that's practically new, may even have tags on it. That's what you're going to get the most money for. Then you go less than fine. This is stuff that maybe it's a little, little rough, but you can barely tell it's just not in pristine position and uh, condition then you go regular and then you go wholesale super fine 
less than fine regular wholesale and then you start looking for clothing to populate those categories because for you to make your ten thousand your twenty thousand your thirty thousand your forty thousand your fifty thousand you're going to need some heavy hitters you're going to need some three hundred dollar items you're going to need four hundred dollar items you're going to need five hundred dollar items as well as your hundred dollar items and this is why I say clothing is real good because you will be able to get clothing so cheap this summer it's ridiculous now hopefully you have a garage if you don't have a garage you're gonna to have to rent a storage unit now what I want you to do is to organize your storage unit don't just put the stuff in containers and boxes and pack it up uh, one is going to get deep wrinkles that can be hella hard to get out so you want to set up your storage unit because once again you got money you make seventy thousand a year you make eighty thousand a year you make whatever that you can now get hangers and models and well I say mannequins not models maybe models if you got cute kids or something cute in your life then you set this up in the four category four uh, four categories super fine less than fine regular normal. So you got four quadrants in the storage unit where you're hanging up stuff. And this is where it's going, I'm gonna surprise you. You list the wholesale stuff first. Now how do you wholesale it? You take, let's say you get 10 polo shirts, all same size. You put them in a dollar auction. And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Trust me, that's the Godfather got you. You put them in a dollar auction, because there's 10 of them. And then you let them go because your wholesale stuff, you're, you're going to get that so easy that just blow it out. Don't even try to hang on it. Don't try to get maximum profit out of it. This is where many resellers just go wrong. Get rid of it. You don't make money holding on to it. You don't, you're not opening up a museum. You're trying to move this stuff out. Then you have your regular stuff. You'll put that stuff up for 5 to $6 auctions. Once again, because you're going to get a lot of stuff. So you want the stuff to move. You don't want to sit on it because you're going to have more of it than you're going to have your other stuff. So you use this if you don't have an eBay account or you're just opening one to build your feedback. Then you start listing your less than fine stuff. And you do that as a buy it now. No auctions on your less than fine. No auctions on your super fine stuff. These are buy it now. Because people who like that kind of stuff, they're impatient, they don't want to bid, and they'll pay more for a buy it now than they would pay in a bidding situation. And that's how you get 10 to 50 grand this summer in merchandise and blow it out in the fall and have yourself a merry, merry Christmas. Because you make good money now, so you can actually warehouse this stuff. So by warehousing it and organize there properly, it's gonna cost you probably, depending on where you're in the country, uh, if you don't have a garage, you have a garage, then you don't have this cost. Uh, and don't start listing it before you get max inventory. But it's gonna cost you free garage, 100, maybe 150, maybe 300 bucks for about two to three months. So you're gonna be in it for 600 to a G in warehousing costs. Now, why am I bringing that up? Because you need to write it down. Because you're going to claim this on your taxes, player. Now, play it. Then, you know, you're not going to list the stuff as you get it. Because this gives you time. Because I want you to have about a thousand pieces of merchandise. I know you're like, what? Clothing is very easy. I used to buy one or two units and be at a thousand pieces. But these are curated pieces you're not just buying anything you are um, taking your time you're taking your time and you're putting the stuff together everything should sell because if it's not selling now let's say like I said thousand pieces preferably 2,500 and you don't start listing this stuff until September September 1st, what you can do, you can set up your eBay, you can set up your eBay store. Uh, you can even start listing them, but they do these auctions do not go off until September 1st. And the reason is 
I've seen this change year after year after year. Once the kids go back to school, people start buying stuff, uh, more money comes to the economy because a lot of the people who have children, they don't have a lot of extra money because all their money goes to summer activities, uh, day camp. So a lot of money gets sucked out of the economy during the summer. And this is why a lot of things slow down because these parents cannot spend their money because their kids are taking it. September 1st, so list it all up, take your pictures and everything. And also when you're inventorying this stuff, put a little tag on it of super fine, this is where it's located. Because if your inventory system's good, you'll be able to go to your unit, get the stuff, bag it up, ship it, and move it. Now, some people would be wanting to have everything bagged and ready to ship. Don't do that because some of your stuff that is super fine is going to slide to fine. Some of your stuff that's fine is going to slide to regular. Uh, there may be a hole there. There might be some issues that you just may miss. So you have these categories that you can now slide the stuff into. So this is why you don't want to have it all set up to ship because you're going to have to take it out of the bag or take it out of the shipping thing and put it with this other stuff. Plus, you may not make some mistakes and you may be like, well, I'm just going to slide these two together and it's the wrong shirt. So by shipping out four or five wrong things can kill your feedback and be a nightmare to handle. Just letting you know. And then once you start selling, take that money, go out and buy some other stuff. Because the thing is, you're going to leverage the cheapness that happens during the summer and then subsidize the higher prices you'll have to pay in the fall. But anyone with a decent job can do this in like, I'm saying 10 to $50,000 net. If you're patient, if you're disciplined and you follow this game plan and you can have yourself a Merry Christmas. And also, the day after Christmas is one of the biggest days of selling on eBay, Amazon, all on online. Because people are off and they're looking, and they're like on their phones. So you might even make more if you follow this advice. And this is for folks who have a good job, the ability to spend money and not have to instantly replace it, where you can get yourself a good net, a nut, you can get your 10 G's in the bank, you can get your 20 G's in the bank. Uh, this could set you up really, really nice for 2019. Just saying. All right, so this is what I want you to do. I want you to go below, Disruptive Male Facebook group. If you're, you know, only men can join. So if you're a woman, sorry, you can't join. Um, then get your special. If you're Broke Dick Danny, I got you. The $99 special is mostly resale stuff anyway, so that's going to help you. And then I have some other packages below. So with that, I'll see you guys later. Subscribe, comment, leave a smart comment, not a smart ass comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.